Hi everyone, welcome back to World 3, my name is Zach. In this video we're looking at Luxray, OpenSea competitor. Of course, they have been accused of wash trading. We're going to get straight into it. Clever NFT traders exploiting crypto's unregulated landscape by wash trading on Luxray. Luxray aims to be, of course, the alternative to OpenSea, but the amount of wash trading on the platform raises questions about whether or not it's a viable competitor. Luxray made its debut on January 10, and the recently launched NFT marketplace has drawn a lot of attention, not only because its daily trade volumes were more than double OpenSea's on the second day of trading but also because it has become the new playground for wash traders. Wash trading is a series of of course trading activities involving the same trader buying and selling the same instrument simultaneously creating artificially high trading volume and a manipulated market price for uh, wash, uh, for the asset in play in the US, wash, tra wash trading in traditional finance markets was illegal since 1936 and the most recently highly publicized scandal related to wash trading is the manipulation of Libra in 2012. While wash trading has been highly regulated and closely monitored by exchanges and regulators, it seems to have found its new path to the unregulated crypto space, especially in energy uh, marketplaces like Luxray. A community-owned marketplace is a double-edged sword. Luxray starts with good intentions to share profits with in the community. The token incentives and the trading rewards were essentially the secret weapon that attracted high volumes and beat OpenSea in light speed fashion right after its launch. But these same factors have also become the very weapon wash traders are using to flood the marketplace. Luxray appears to have foreseen the, poss the possibility of wash trading that could be induced by the lucrative trading rewards. But according to Luxray Docs, they believe the cost of trading from platform fees and royalty fees would be too high to create any incentives for wash trading. Interestingly, reality shows the opposite, though, of course looking at the trade volume in USD and how that has gone in comparison to OpenSea. The graphs above show that daily users and daily transactions from Luxury are only a tiny portion 2 to 3 percent of OpenSea but the volume are more than triple or even quadruple of OpenSeas. Using January 19 as an example the average trade volume on Luxray is approximately 380k USD per user whereas on OpenSea it is only 3k. Similarly the average trade volume per transaction is around 415k on Luxray whereas it's for OpenSea only 1.676k USD. So clearly an, uh, an interesting shall we say uh, comparison. Basically what the data shows of course is that a very small group of users executing trades worth hundreds of thousands of dollars basically artificially driving up the volume. This surely does not sound like a playground for normal NFT buyers with a 2% platform fee, royalty fee, and the volatile gas fee from the ETH network. Wash traders seem to still be able to find a sweet spot to balance their cost and profit. So let's have a look at what is happening here. How trading rewards are, are allocated. Looks where trading rewards are distributed over a total of 721 days over four phases. The daily reward is highest during the first 30 days in phase A, and the total reward is the highest in phase C to 40 days. As we can see right here, duration and days, and then the dates for the uh, the tokens. The amount of trading reward a single trader can obtain for any given day is the product of the fixed daily Lux trading reward, 2.86. Uh, million and the ratio between the individual traders vo uh, trading volume and the total trading volume of the day. Therefore, the more trading volume created by the trader, the more reward they get. The mechanism creates great incentives for large volumes of wash trading. In addition to the trading rewards, traders can also earn a portion of the platform fees collected based on the amount of luck staked as well as staking rewards and liquidity provider rewards. But compared to the trading rewards gained from wash trading, the other rewards are too insignificant and close to a rounding error, so they will not be considered here. A closer look at Wash Trader with 90 million USD in a daily trading volume. The largest looks for a single day trading volume was on January 19 of this year. By plotting the top 10 wallets traded on that day, two wallets sounded out with more than 90 million US dollars traded on the day from each one as shown in the graph below. The activities from these two wallets to also show back and forth buys and sells between them which is a clear indication of manipulation i.e. wash trading. Most of the time the wash traders choose NFTs with 0% royalty fees such as MeBits or Terraform so the only costs on the trade are the 2% platform fee and the gas fee. In this specific example on January 19 the trader bought and sold loot multiple times using these two wallets at a price at around 6,500 times the 
floor price based on the trading reward allocation and assuming the two wallets belong to the same trader the total trading volume of from this trader on january 19 was 186 million usd the trading reward earned from the trades is 6.2 million usd and the fee paid is 3.7 million usd resulting in a net profit of 2.5 million usd which is a 1.34 percent of daily return and equivalenting 12,661 percent of annual return most trading rewards on Luxray goes to the wash traders and as we can see here looking at the last 24 hours as of January 24 no 29% of the Lux rewards went to the top traders to top 10 traders similarly when looking at the largest trade volume January 19 28% of the rewarders went to the top 10 traders a large portion of the rewards goes to a small number of wash traders this does not exactly follow Lux rare philosophy of buy NFT people for NFT people sharing the profit within the community seems to have failed so far and the lion's share of the profit only goes to a few traders as Delphi Digital currently correct pointed out this model middle is is unsustainable in the long term and the trading volume is likely to drop significantly as wash traders gradually leave when it is no longer profitable luxury still has a long way to compete with OpenSea in terms of number of users and non-zero royalty nft trade volumes it will be interesting to see how the dynamic changes when the trading reward reduces by half in phase b starting on february 10 2022 and of course on that date and after that we'll be looking at what exactly is the update on this honestly this does look sketch as heck um, and honestly if looks for it wants to talk with web3 and get an interview by all means but either way we'll be keeping up with everything happening because it is the web3 channel coming everything happening in the web3 space crypto nft and metaverse news have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next web3 video